purpose talkers come on in I hope that you will share this video because I have a few things to to share with you today I am super excited because on Tuesday September the 28th becoming the whole woman virtual summit will be live and you have four days of incredible profound speakers pastors ministers singers authors podcasters and me to listen to to glean from and otherwise be encouraged to read the word of god to see the areas of your life that you could change to continue to grow in the lord and spiritual maturity and that is such an amazing incredible way to live life to find ways to continue to love god love his people and to love ourselves and to be a manifestation and an expression of that I am so grateful for the sisters and brothers in Christ that I have met and connected with and continue to connect with because God is continuing to bring his people together and it's so exciting. So I hope that you will, if you haven't already, sign up because it's absolutely free, okay? Absolutely free. You can go in each day and experience four different perspectives and I will have the list and the links, of course. They'll be up here. And if you wish, if you need to go at this on your own pace in your own time and exactly how you want to do things, then for $15, you get an all-access lifetime pass that you can come in and watch it whenever you need or want to. Plus, there's the, ex the excitement of the extra bonuses, which are phenomenal, okay? So if you go for the all-access pass, $15, you have a lifetime to go in, to look, to glean, to go back. And you also have the privilege of grabbing some extra bonuses. So in addition to that, God is really helping me to work on carving out my space. As many of you know, I am a media ministry consultant and I work with individuals, pastors, churches, and businesses. And while it's greatly rewarding a lot of times I come up against trying to humble myself to make myself a little bit smaller and to not be so grand and large because here's the other thing I don't want to be the smartest person in the room I really don't I want to be able to learn and grow in understanding because if everyone is supposedly learning from me um, that's not helping <laughs> It's not doing me any good. Um, I'm grateful for those I'm able to advise, but I think that in life that we are to glean from one another and there is a time and a purpose and a place for each thing. So last week, I have been wrestling with a few things and I've been praying and asking God to help me through it. So I'm going to share this with you because He, God answers prayers. He does hear us. And I want to share with you what I read yesterday that completely just opened my eyes, opened my mind wide open, wide open, wide open, open my eyes wide open. Hello, come on, y'all. <laughs> but it opened my eyes, it opened my heart to understand. Yes, Lord, thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, that moment. Thank you for that clarity. And while this may not make sense to you right now, perhaps it will later. Perhaps this is something you've been praying over. Maybe you're dealing with a relationship, uh, a situation that you just can't seem to, mm, you know, it's just frustrating and you're grr and it's like, why well, won't these people just get it? I'm here to help. <laughs> so as I'm wrestling with that, I'm going to share what I read first, and then I'm going to share the verse and the scripture that goes with it. I will leave some music and, of course, some lovely scenery shot by my beloved uh, from his drone. And I just thank you so much, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for um, just for everything. So what I received yesterday was a quote from Andy Stanley, and it said, rather than being right at one another, rather than being right at one another god wants us to be right with one another okay i could have stopped right there because that almost took me out however <laughs> the follow-up scripture comes from romans chapter 12 verses 9 and 10 and it says 
Don't just pretend to love others. Really love them. Hate what is wrong. Hold tightly to what is good. Love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. So my answer to my prayer came in the form of, am I displaying and showing love to the people and the situation, the circumstance, the trial that we are currently going through while I'm trying to get people to understand something? Is my need to be right messing with the whole entire process? Is there another way to do it? And the answer is yes. There's always a different way, except for when it comes to accepting Jesus, okay? That's where I'm not, mm-mm, but nope, mm-mm, okay. But in the situation, the arguments, the back and forth, the planning, the building, all of that, there may be more than one right answer, one right way. And for this particular organization and these uh, particular groups, the way they wanted to do it is the way they wanted to do it. And the best thing was for me to just pray about what I needed to do. So as you go throughout the rest of this day, I pray that you will think about the ways that you are being accepting of other people's ideas and how they are implemented. And also in your response, are you trying to be right at them? Or are you trying to be right with them? Think about your posture and the position that you're in and how it could be helpful to show more love and honor than to tell people that than to tell people that your way is the only way. I love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you will watch the virtual summit Tuesday, September 28th through October 1st. I will see you all next week. <laughs>